Well, according to the death penalty database, 660 people in Louisiana have been executed as punishment for a capital crime. But that number has dropped sharply in recent decades, and in the last 10 years, only one person has been put to death in the state. Combine that with the cost, last year nearly $10 million in public defense alone, and some legislators say the law needs to change. Two pre-filed bills in the state legislature set to eliminate the death penalty in Louisiana. It's something Nicole Jackson does not agree with. The crime should equal the punishment that, you know, if someone kills someone, there should be an equal punishment. So death for death. The bill's authors include state rep Terry Landry, the former superintendent of state police, and cite evolving views on capital punishment and the millions of dollars spent on capital cases and death row inmates as reasons to change the law. Under the proposed legislation, the toughest sentence on the books after August would be life in prison without the possibility of parole, probation, or suspension of sentence. It wouldn't apply to current capital cases or the 76 people living right now on Louisiana's death row. Stephen Giebert says taking death row off the table makes sense. The death penalty causes a lot more problems with um, things getting held up with the appeals. And I mean, I think it's not really work as a deterrent for keeping people from committing the crimes. If passed, the new law would change the required sentencing for capital crimes, including first degree murder, first degree rape of a child and treason. States have abolished the death penalty, but the majority, 31 states, including Louisiana, still have executions on the books. The bills will be considered during the regular legislative session, which starts Monday. Jennifer Crockett, WDSU News.